Hello, this is Dave Fitch of Fitch, Fitch & Associates, and this is a sample of the different ways, different methods, that information will be collected in the full Job Factor interview survey. There are 46 questions in the full survey, and this should help you get an idea of how they will be presented and what you need to do. Number one, there are questions, and there are multiple parts to the question. So here's basic information about you is a question. The multiple parts, your name, your organization, city, state, and the separate boxes that those alpha character answers will be entered. We have obviously an opportunity to have single, a single question with a single box. One thing I want you to note here is that some questions will be presented this way with an asterisk to the left of the number. That means that that is a required question and if you do not complete it, it will not allow you to pass on to the next page. We'll show you how that happens in a moment. We have uh, questions that are basically multiple choice or multiple choices like this one and you can click the boxes or targets or whatever for the appropriate answers. Then we have a type of question and collection methods fairly common in, in the instrument. It's a narrative box. There's a question that's posed and then a box uh, for your uh, writing of an answer, like a uh, narrative story or an essay question might be answered. We also have uh, questions on here that actually require numerical answers, and uh, the numerical digits need to be placed in the answer box. And then finally, we have questions here that are basically yes no questions with with the buttons yes or no and typically on the no it has a direction of where to skip to. Now let me uh, show you a couple things here. Number one I'm going to put an alpha, alpha uh, answer in that box and we didn't answer the job title question so let's see what happens here. Okay there's the job title answer. It says this question requires an answer. There's the asterisk. Okay. We'll go down here and we'll answer this. And that's that. We get down here and on this one that we put the alpha answer in, it says please enter a positive number. So we enter a positive number there and when we get down here and click Done, it will complete. Thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, please contact us.